I'm almost constantly thinking, what am I doing? And those moments of pure joy and enjoying the sport I love are quite rare. I just can't think of a single reason why I want to get up and go this morning. Can't face it eating much, so I ate half this this morning. This is 25 grams of carbs, 25 grams of protein, 300 calories. Is there a biscuit, darling? And if you know me in my uh, normal life, I'm so obsessed with I've showering, and hygiene, and cleaning. It's just nothing else to me matters about from just getting to where I need to go. I have some in time. Okay. You can see me within five miles, I'll need Excuse me, so Fruit, yogurt, peanut butter, please. Just gonna be sore. I could do this. I don't know. I can't take paracetamol again yet, can I? It's gonna be sore, whatever, really. But having sand constantly and stopping to take the sand out, and then your socks full. I've got a good run of all 15 miles now. Let's make some time up. She said I'm a proper northern would have been anything in bed. I'm I don't really eat an awful lot. <laughs> She'd have a pasta sandwich with chips. In bread? Yeah. Just disgusting. All of you. I think I'd even put the pizza in bread.
That's where I could have been if I took the low look route. So I was given the option back there, the bridge. A red sign pointing up into these forests. Upland route. Or a blue sign pointing down there to the docks of Round Town, Lowland route. And I ummed an hour for about 30 seconds. And then I thought, what is more important to you really? To try and enjoy this and have peace of mind? Or to try and shave three minutes, four minutes off a record? So I've come up here. I needed to get away from all that traffic in town and busyness. It was a correct decision. Yeah, we're climbing hills and it's hard work, but that's where it would have been. Down there.
finish to a guy. <laughs> right, 52 and a half miles. Started in Wales and I'm still in Wales. But I'm getting closer to the end of it. Where do we start, babe? Uh, I don't know where we are. I hit Port Call, I've done nine miles since Port Call, so I'm south of there. I started north of there. Oxridge Bay. So I've just done 52 and a half miles. So I saved that actually. Turn the track off. So I'm um, over 800 miles, I think, now in 18 days. If it was 870 miles, I could finish tomorrow, which is my original target. It's given me then three days to get up off the cycle and try and do it inside 22 days. That's quite frustrating, but... Don't I? It was at times. It makes it more of a challenge, to be honest. You've got to deal with it, so... I'll do what I've got to do, I'll get to the end of the coast path, it's going to be about 890 miles I think. Um, I'm still confident I'm going to get the FKT. The knee pain has not been there for the last 15 miles. My right foot felt good, just a bit of pain in my left foot. Last night was on my right foot and my left foot was okay, so that pain key, I know I've said it before, I've said it several times over the last few weeks, if that pain keeps jumping around, that's only a good thing. It means there's no set injury bubbling away. So um, I'm going to eat, shoes and socks off, get my luxury boudoir and get ready to go again tomorrow.